We have already determined that the gravitational field acting on the occupants of the space station and the space station itself is not very different than what's acting on us. So how come they don't fall to Earth? So the gravitational field will be pointed towards the center of the Earth. And that gravitational field is the acceleration that a mass would experience at that location. So in this case, any object would just fall towards the center of the Earth. How could that be avoided? To help you think of the answer, think of another situation where acceleration is towards the center of something. If you thought that that diagram looked a lot like our circular motion problems, you were right. If that object has a tangential velocity perpendicular to its acceleration, it will go in a circle. It will keep falling but never reach the Earth. Long before anyone had the means of putting something into orbit, Newton did a thought experiment where a cannon was on a very high mountain. So when the cannon shoots a cannonball, maybe first it'll land here at D. If it's a little faster, it would go here to E. Faster still, you might reach here, F. So he kept thinking, what if it went fast enough where it kept falling, but since the Earth is round, the Earth curved away, and it just makes it back to the same spot so that it never falls to Earth, but goes into orbit. We can calculate the velocity necessary to maintain a stable orbit at a distance r from the center of a planet with mass m. Start with Newton's law, sigma f equals ma. Our sigma f is simply your gravitational force, g big M times little m divided by r squared. And our a, since our object is in circular motion, is equal to v squared over r. We can cancel out one of the r's, and we can also cancel out m. So we end up with g m over r equals v squared. If we're looking for v, we take the square root on both sides, and we end up with square root of g m over r. And this is the velocity needed to maintain a stable orbit around a planet with mass m and a distance r from the center of the planet. From that, we can calculate the period t of any object's orbit. We can either use the equation we just came up with, square root of g m over r, or we can set the gravitational field equal to the centripetal acceleration and get v equals square root of g r. And if you remember, velocity of an object traveling in a circle is equal to 2 pi r over the period t. We can solve for t, giving us 2 pi r over the velocity v, and this will tell us how long one complete orbit will take.